Coach, it's finally game week. We've been harping you for the last couple months, you know, just getting to this moment. Just how exciting is it to, for it to finally get here and you can let everything out on the field? Well, I mean, this is why, you know, what we do, what we do as coaches, players do this because they're players. I hate to say anything. I think the media likes it too. So I think you guys probably enjoy the opportunity to be a part of this as well. But I think it's an exciting time for Cal Poly. And I think, yeah, there's probably a lot of questions out there and all those things. But in the reality, I've been doing it long enough to understand what it's really all about. It really is all about 2009 and the players that are on this team. And for me, that's exciting to see how they're going to respond uh, to a game-like situation a Saturday night. San Luis Obispo, beautiful weather, hopefully a great crowd, and go play the game. That's what college football is all about. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago depth on the line and, and linebacker and stuff as well. And then after the, the game, needed to work on tackling. Just kind of talk about where those two issues stand as far as heading into this opener. Well, I think we're, you know, we're getting better. I think the young players on their offensive line that need to get better will get better every time they step on the field. And actually, even today in the team segments, even though we're preparing for Sacramento State, they took more reps than the ones did because we understand that's where you know, maybe our Achilles heel is. We need to stay healthy on the offensive line until our guys can catch up. Uh, we have three freshmen that are on the twos, uh, Brock Morris, Giovanni Sani, and Jeff Hyde that are all running with our two offensive line, and they're true freshmen. They need repetitions and they need opportunities. So that question's not going to be answered probably until mid-year to whether we feel real comfortable with where we are with our seconds. But we have seven or eight guys that we feel very comfortable can play on the offensive line right now, and that, and that is good for us. Linebacker Kenny Jackson is getting healthy again. Quentin Greenlaw made great strides. Kyle Muhammad is kind of the good, steady, Eddie, smart player that can probably play any one of the three linebacker positions. So uh, we do feel better there. And I, you know, we moved Stosh McGinnis. Uh, from center back to linebacker, which is he originally was recruited to play. And against the run, he does really good things. Uh, against the pass, it's kind of a question mark. But he's getting better all the time, and he's only been doing it a week and a half. So uh, we think overall there have been some things that we've done to shore up some of the deficiency we've had. But really, like I said before, the answers are going to come as we start to play games. Cool. I'm sure you've had time to look at the tape of Sacramento State, their game. Just kind of what's the plan of attack for, for this coming Saturday? Well, I mean, I think Sacramento State, I mean, I'm, Marshall Spurbeck was the head coach of Foothill Junior College. I recruited a lot of his players to Portland State. Uh, I know Marshall fairly well. I think he's an outstanding football coach. I'm sure he's going to have a good game plan against us. And, uh, you know, I think, to, you know, the other thing you always have to remember is he recruits in the state of California, too. And some of the best high school football is played right here in this state. And we're living proof of it here at Cal Poly. And I'm sure that's what he's, his goals are at Sacramento State. So he'll have a solid good game plan against us. And uh, I think that they feel very strongly that their running game is, uh, is solid. And they have a, st a returning starting quarterback, which will help them. They have an All-American uh, defensive lineman, an honorable mention, all uh, Big Sky defensive lineman. I think they feel their front is probably the strength of what they do defensively. And uh, so they probably feel like they match up pretty well against us. Um, we're changing defenses. We're not extremely large on the defensive side of the ball. They're a pretty big offensive line. They're probably going to try to run it at us pretty hard. And I think defensively, they think that they can, with their defensive lineman, probably do some things to slow us down offensively. As far as uh, Dominique Johnson, will he be sit missing the first two games or kind of update us on that? Well, as of right now, the NCAA has uh, agreed to a, an appeal that we um, turned in a week ago on his behalf, and uh, he has lost one game, and he can choose the first game this year or the first game next year. And Dominique has cho chosen to uh, miss the first game next year with the likelihood that we'll even appeal that. So he will play this Saturday here in Sacramento State. So that was kind of a good reprieve for him. And I, I really do think, regardless whether he's the, a great player or not a great player, I think for young people to have the opportunity to fulfill their dreams and play the X amount of college football games, I think it was a, a good thing the NCAA has decided to do. I think it's great for Dominique and the opportunity that gives him to truly play a full schedule this year. Hey, Tim, when it, when it comes like with Tony or, or whomever else, when you see tangible improvement in practice in preseason, how much does that, or in your experience, does that carry over into a first game of the season when you see a kid improve, improve, improve in spring ball you know, to now? Does it carry over into, into a game-like situation? Well, I think two things definitely happen because of that. I think confidence happens within the young man that's improving like that. If there's continual tangible that we can see and touch and feel the improvement that a young man's making, and then he feels it. And he feels us gain confidence in him through the confidence that we give him with uh, 
good, positive, constructive criticisms. I think that those things can carry over and do carry over into a game. Now, how much of it remains to be seen? Because when you turn the headlight, when you turn the game lights on in, in Spano Stadium Saturday and, and it's time to go play and all those things, you have to see how young people react. I do know that when Tony Smith, for example, played in high school and was given the opportunity, here's the ball, Tony, you're the quarterback, he was a very successful player. So it's not like that he hasn't done it before. Yeah, it's a different level and it's a different time. But I think, like he said, his heat prepared to do this. And I think all our players have prepared to do it. Now, are we totally ready to go play a game yet? I think that's going to be answered Saturday night. I think that, you know, the changes on defense, are we ready? I think we had a good day of practice today, probably the best practice we've had since I've been here on the defensive side of the ball. So I'm excited that we did. We have seen exactly what you've seen, uh, what you just said, some tangible uh, improvements on players all the way throughout the last 20 days. And I think that will pay off on September 12th against Sacramento State.